Well, hello everyone. Welcome in. Welcome in. Happy Wednesday. I'd like to thank everyone so much for, there we go, uh, tuning in today. Again, my name is Nerd Builder, and again, I hope you're having a great, great, great Wednesday so far. We're in the back half of the week. For me, I'm feeling <laughs> great. Just started my vacation, my end of the year vacation um, from work. So very, very excited off through the new year. So feeling great. <laughs> um, always a great feeling. So, but again, I hope everyone is doing well. Um, so last time when we left off, we had done some more farming and we set up our animal farm, which we probably should go check on. Uh, we do have some wheat left. Okay. So we'll give our farm a little bit more time to grow. And let's go check on our animal farm. Do we have any seeds left or not yet? We have a lot of trees. Wow. Okay. Not yet. Okay. So today I figure uh, what we'll probably do is maybe a little bit of mining. Oh, pigs keeping our animals company here. And we're actually going to use this on the cows for now. There we go. All right, get those, get those XP. And all right, we'll trust the pig to keep watch here. But um, yeah, we'll have to wait for our farm to really um, come in. So, but as I was saying, um, what what, we're, what I'm planning on doing today is I think that we should start getting ready to build our uh, first house. So, what do I have in mind? So, I think we're in a pretty good spot, and I think up here is where we should look to build. Now, I'm just looking at this area here. And let's see, there's a lot of land here. We have a little bit of a flat area here. So what I was thinking was that we could clear out, at least in part, some of this area to make it a little bit more that we have a flat building surface. Or we could place dirt on top, but again, I don't think... How much dirt do we have? Probably... Probably not enough to fill this in. Here, even though that would probably be the... Well, preferred way to go. Let's see. Let's try to fill in instead of taking it down. So, it's going to be a little bit of a grindy uh, stream today as we prep for our first house we'll have to look to get some more uh resources and that but i really want to flatten this out so that's why you've been cutting down some trees in this area 
All right, so we're not going to have, we're not going to take a, a ton of land here. I'm thinking about building like a modest house. So we're also going to take down a few more trees that are kind of in our way right now. Okay. Nope. Oh, cow coming up to say hello. And I hate to do this, but... Come here, you. Hey. There we go. Sorry, buddy. Okay. So, let's take down a few more trees over here. Again, we kind of are in a forest, but... At first, I thought, like, should we clear out the some of the land? I'd like to have some flat land to uh, build with. Here, so we'll wait for some of these resources to drop. In the interim, though, let's get some of the trees out of this immediate area. And again, this is good because this is going to give us a couple different types of trees to build with. Some wood, I should say. A couple different types of resources to build with. So I, I at least want to get into a spot where... Um, uh, where we're in good shape. Here for when we start building. I'll watch the sun. I can see the sun starting to get ready to set. Yeah, we're right on the edge of a change in biome. So I guess if anything, we could take some, some dirt from over there. Oh, just lost our axe. Do we have any do we have another axe? We do. Awesome. Okay, stone tools do not last a long time. And I'm not opposed to having trees over here in time. Although I'm kind of opposed, I think, with like, you know, this beautiful seaside front that we have. And we have a ton of trees around us, so we'll probably look to build some of the or get some of these trees growing in um, probably some of the other biomes where there's space. We're in a pretty dense forest right now. We'll save all the saplings. I say that a lot, but I, I I really think it's important to save them. All right, so we'll grab these. All right, so we'll wait for some of these to come down. We'll take this tree down as well. And I think actually maybe we should stop and put some stuff in the chest too, just because I think um, we're going to be running out of space. So let's, well, first off, I think we're in a good spot there. So let's try to put some more dirt down. Not there. All right, so we're probably going to need a lot more dirt. So I guess we'll grab some from over here, if anything. And over time, you know, so I, I usually try to build on flat land. Obviously, that's hard to do at points because um, there's not much flat land in Minecraft. This it's, it gets kind of rare to find it. So, you know, it's it, you don't necessarily need flat land. I think we're just doing this for our... We'll do this for our first house here, but in time... Uh, we will want to... Uh, you know, maybe do some projects on some land that's not so flat. All right, so just like that, we're out of dirt. But let's sleep really quick. Excellent. Okay, so into another day. Let's grab the couple more saplings that fell. I don't know how far back we're going to go. Let's clear this one out, too. Oh, 
Okay. And let's clear this. Excellent. Okay. And let's clear this one out too. And then we'll go and we'll try to get some more dirt. So we'll start taking this layer down. So the good things with these grass blocks is that they will, um, they'll go back to um, wherever they're placed. They'll take the shade, they'll take the color of that dirt so we don't have to worry about, um, you know, the, the dirt being miscolored or something. Here, you can see the pig who's supposed to be guarding our animal farm has vacated his post. Alright, so gather there's some seeds while we're at it too. I guess we'll just take this down too. Oh, that's weird. Right off to the side like that. I did it a few times. Okay. These trees are a little... These ones are a little different. There we go. Alright, and we'll take that. Grab that. So I think I have an idea for a design, I think. Potentially. So I guess we'll see there. So we're not going to go with anything too complex in the beginning. Wow, this one dropped a lot. Okay. Alright, so I'll probably look to take this one down as well. actually getting two birds with one stone because we're going to need wood anyway so the fact that we have to keep cutting down while we're filling in land is um fine with me so we'll do a little bit more here we're going to need a lot more dirt yeah we're going to need a lot more i don't know how far we're going to go yet excuse me sir even for the time being. What a difference, though. This area looks so completely different than it did. Even just like, you know. Hmm. There's a light in there. Do we put a light in there? I can't remember. There's something lighting up in there. But yeah, now it's um, night and day over here. Okay. Oh. So we could do this with a shovel. I'm just doing it by hand right now. It would go quicker, but... Honestly, right now we're just trying to save a little bit of resources. Knock the rest of that down. Wow. Looks so weird. Okay. 
even through the short time we've been here. But it's hard to believe. I mean, this is now stream number three. And, you know, the third time that we've come into the world here. But obviously, we're a couple days in. Here, we also did some exploring last time. Um, which was cool. We have to eventually we're gonna have to build the boat and go out on the water. Because there's a big ocean out there for us to explore, literally. It is an ocean biome. And of course we'll still be careful on the surface here, even just digging down, because again, we don't know what's under these grass blocks. Hopefully just more grass blocks or more dirt blocks, but you know. You should still be careful. You never know if all of a sudden this opens up some kind of cavern. <laughs> there. Okay. There we go. I guess we'll take down this tree too. All right, so I do see some more. There we go. All right, so we'll put some more grass blocks. You can see here because we put this other row in. Uh, we'll have enough to go across. I'll just fill that in. Of course, he comes right over here as soon as we're... <laughs> Excuse me, that was a weird laugh. Um, I was, like, coughing in the middle of doing it. Um, you know, of course, he comes right over here. Uh, the minute we start building, so... Excellent. Right, so we have a pretty good amount of land. So we're out of, all right, and the sun's going to be setting soon. Anyways, but you can see we, this is already going pretty far back. So maybe we'll do a couple more rows. We're not, it doesn't have to go all the way back. And let's see, the entrance to our mine is right there. Let's see, so we could, we could flatten out the coast, even though, I mean, you know, we made a minimal change here, but the, this was already pretty, like, straight like this, which is very weird for a Minecraft world. So maybe we'll fill this in, and the entrance to our mine, maybe eventually down here we could put, like, a dock in, I was thinking, and then, like, a harbor in over here. I guess we could leave some, like, grain fields down here. So I think we're also going to try to go straight across here and fill this in as well. So, all right. In a second, we'll get ready for bed. <laughs> and then we will um, go there. So we'll just hang on a second here. As the sun goes down, wait a few more seconds. A 
little bit more. There we go. All right, another day. All right, so let's gather a little bit more dirt. I'll grab this up. Actually, this would be... Oh, this is a cool forest, I guess, back here. So I want to make a... I want to make a bigger grain field in time. So we'll watch it for now. Alright, so let's grab some more. We're also going to flatten out the front there. But eventually I might change... The, I, I think it could be cool to change the block. Like, maybe instead putting some stone there instead um, would be cool. So it is a very interesting contrast between the two. But let's really quick, let's try to fill this in. Here, so eventually, like I said, like I think maybe we'll do some kind of stone or something. There we go. So I kind of like this being like an outlook. We'll do something with this later, but I'm kind of intrigued by this design. Here, I was going to say we could do like an outlook or something. Be a nice place to come stand and look. Because that's what you want to do in Minecraft, right? Stand there and look. Okay. Oh, I should probably fill in this area first before we go back. Okay. So let's, um... So I don't know how much further back we actually need to go. I do want to finish this row. Will we have enough? Eh, yes we will. Okay. So this is a pretty big flat area. So I think most of the house I think will be in here. So it'll span over here. But again, we don't need it to be too massive. So maybe one more row. So let's collect a little bit more. Actually, let's take down that mound right there. Too. Because again, we don't need it to be too massive. Um, for our purposes. So we'll start off with some basic materials. Um, clay will come in handy for, you know, bricks down the road. Okay. 
and that, so. Oop, there we go. And maybe we should also check in our farm in a few as well. And we do. Let me eat. There we go. I'll have to see what we're going to do behind. I was just thinking of that because I'm like, I do like the idea of having a woods back there. Is there something in our... Oh, it's a flower on the hill. I thought it was a pair of eyes. I'm like, is there a spider over there? Okay, never mind. That's what I was looking. I'm just like, I, I saw that. I think it was just the way that it was like the, the black sheep over there was like standing directly in front of it. And it made it look like, like a pair of, like an eye. I'm like, what is... Alright, should we do one more? Alright, so we just need a couple more. We only need a ton. So the other thing we should be conscious of, and because again, like, I am seeing things moving in the woods, is, um, I think eventually we're gonna get a, um, a visit from the pillager patrol. So we're gonna want to be conscious of that. And again, they're not too they're not too difficult to fight, but you probably don't want to fight all of them at the same time. So we'll keep it out a little bit extra dirt. Um, I'll just take the rest of this mound down. Excellent. Okay. There. Okay, so let's finish, let's just finish filling in this area right here. Let's have a few dirt left. Excellent, okay. Alright, so what are we looking at here? Well, we have more than enough wood. Um, actually, there's a tree that just dropped. Alright. So let me just drop this in here, because we are, oh, not in here, duh, in here, okay. Let's put the leather in there for now, and let's put the poppies in there, put eggs in there, let's put the saplings in there. And rose bushes. Uh-oh. Well, that changed on a dime. Okay. I don't hear any thunder, though. Alright, so now that everything's flooded... Alright. So, I kind of want to get a base down for it, so let's see how this goes. Um, here, so I'm actually going to... Let's move this further up. Because we're not going to put anything directly on the edge. Anyway, so let's put this up here. Oh, that's fine. Extra crafting table. And let's actually move the bed. So move the bed right there. We'll obviously set it there so we're not... In case something happens. Okay. So, let's get our building materials kind of in a row here. So let's move some stuff out. Out of here, we'll check on the animals later. Sorry about that, got a little tickle in my throat. Alright, so we have some oak logs to work with. We have some birch logs. And more oak logs, so we'll keep that up here. You know, a lot of sand. Some Arcadia logs. And we have cobblestone, too. Alright, so let's take this up. 
And okay. All right, so it's definitely big enough because I can't even see the. So this would be the back line here. So I'm thinking for right now, let's start with some cobblestone. Three. All right, so four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Oh, 13. Okay, let's... <laughs> Uh-oh. That came quick. That came very quick. <laughs> Alright, so we we're at 13. Should make the rainstorm go away. Fourteen. Fifteen. Sixteen. Alright, so I'm just going to get the dimensions down for now. And it doesn't mean it's necessarily going to stay, but I'm just trying to make it kind of even. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Should be lucky thirteen. I might have to get more cobblestone. Alright. So let's just get the base down. Again, it doesn't mean this is going to stay a square. There. Wow, that was oddly... Um, <laughs> and not planned. Okay. No, very planned. I definitely planned this out. Okay. Alright, so here's the thing I'm building. Um, again, y y you know, it's okay to get creative, and it's okay not to know, you know, what you're planning on doing. So, just looking at the size of this right now, right, it's a decent sized house, so this will give us some space for things. But I'm thinking, I don't know if I don't know if I want it to. I, I don't want it to be a square. I think this is enough area in the front of the house. Any other trees? But again, like I, I don't think that I want this to be um, a square. So what am I envisioning? I think. What do I think? So it's always the hardest part. I think, you know, honestly, it's just getting that design in the in your head first um, that makes it, like, the most difficult to do. Um, here, it, it, makes it, it makes it significantly more difficult to get started. Um, so we could do a couple things. Um, the first thing that we could do is we could... And again, because I have it kind of even... We could put a pair of steps in front here and essentially have a square. We could come in from the side here. You know, what we also could do is have part of the house protruding on this side and almost have it because I'm thinking, one of the other things I'm thinking too is I kind of want to have a cellar and I think that's where we'll put like a storage system down there for now underneath here. So we'll be digging I know, we just filled all this in, but we'll be digging down a little bit um, there. So the other thing I'm thinking is that we could do a porch coming right out to here and have it come from the side. So let's take a look and see what that'll look like. So let's get some more materials. And again, we may not finish this today. Um, you know, we'll give it a stab and see how it goes there. But it's, um, you know, we're not going to rush it. And part of it is because, again, it takes time. And you don't necessarily have to know what you're doing. It's good to come in with a plan. I think for me, you know, it's just getting started and envisioning it. So I took the key bindings off. 
Actually, we're going to need a lot of slabs anyway, so slabs are always a good way to go. So we're going to get a stack there. Yeah, it makes it for mobs to spawn. So let's see. We actually probably could fill this in. So what I'm thinking is oh there's a traitor I was wondering when he was going to show up he's here <laughs> and then that means any day now we're probably going to get a pillager attack okay so I kind of have an idea at least on this side so let's see I'm going to get do we have any more fence no there's we So let's get a little bit more, um, so I'm thinking like this. something like that and then let's get some more cobblestone <coughs> excuse me there all right so we'll do one there I uh, didn't want to come this high up so let's say my, we're out of pickaxes, so we'll just use the iron one. Okay. So how many square, how many, one, two, three, four. Um, it's just going to work. I was going to say instead maybe do um what am I trying to do here so I'm thinking should we do like a double doors? Should I have left it? Maybe let's do a double doors. So this will go back. But I'm thinking it's having like glass on each side. Where's the dirt? So it'll be a little bit of gray at the beginning, literally, but. Alright, and where are those fence posts? Okay, so what I'm thinking is like. 
Let's make some glass. I think I put, did I put the coal in here. Nope, I left it out. Okay. Nope. Alright, so let's start making some glass. It's gonna get dark in a second, so let's just chill. So let's try to envision it again, like it, it, it's important to take your time and kind of get an idea of what you're looking for. So let's wait here. I'm thinking we're going to end up taking this in a little bit, so it's not going to be just like a flat line here, or at least not completely a flat line. I'm kind of digging this so we can go up like this. And then what I'm picturing is again, like almost like a, like a walk in area here. Like a, you know, like a foyer or something, and then, like, we'll have stairs going down to the basement. Look at that sky. Dives right into the bed. Alright, so let's see what we're doing here. Do I hear something growling? Alright, so let's turn these into... see how this ends up looking so we will burn a little bit more glass and actually we'll take out so leave that and let that keep melting down for now okay all right so what do we need oh chest so I would like a little bit of a fancier door We're getting the basic doors for now. Is that like a jungle door? Let's just put these in for now and see how this looks. Eventually we'll change it. Will the glass panes cooperate around there or maybe not? Alright, I just need to put glass blocks. I can't even see them. Uh. No, I don't think so. Unfortunately, we're going to lose those, but that's okay. So we'll save those for other windows, but I think what we're going to do here is we're just going to have to put glass blocks. Alright, so we'll take some more of these for now. Alright, so we'll do the glass blocks. Alright, and the other thing... is let's, um... Three, four, five, six, seven... Damn. Sorry, chat. Let me just, um, I'll be quiet for just a second here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so ten. So let's do maybe two, three. It doesn't necessarily have to be even. A 
So what I was planning on doing... Actually, we'll have to grab maybe a few more. So we'll put that there. I'm not sure what we're going to do with the back yet. Okay, so at least in here, I think we'll just do... So we'll do stairs like that. So we'll have it come down to like... I thought I heard a zombie, maybe not. Alright, so maybe this will be like the... The entrance way. And then I'm thinking... A lot of dirt under here. Okay. And actually, maybe I should have. It's all about placement where you click on the block. Alright, so we have a little bit more dirt. Is this uneven? Lots well, of big old. Alright, we might have to fix that. Alright, so what I'm thinking about doing is like a nice little like planter like flower bed out here too um and actually maybe instead of well maybe we'll leave it so what do we need for okay so let's make Alright, let's see if I remember how to do this. Alright, and we have some flowers. So put some rose bushes, put some poppies, uh, birch saplings. Don't we have any other type of flowers? Oh, <laughs> dandy lights, okay. Alrighty. Actually, might have to get more. Let's see, we're running low on flowers, so maybe.
What do you think, chat? Pretty? Not pretty? Actually, it looks... Does this look uneven? I think we're uneven. Actually, I know why we're uneven. We'd have to fix those. Alright, well, we need to locate a, another... Where do we get these from? Are they over there? We have to locate another, um... Rose bush. There we go. That will make us even. Alright, so it's actually going to get dark, so let's not go too far. Okay, and I'm thinking about... A lot of gray for now, but so I'll put some window panes up. Like right here, all right. Let's go. We have to score another rose bush from somewhere too. Hang on a second here. Okay. So let's try to score another rose bush somewhere. I think it was over this way, if I'm not mistaken. So part of it is just like, you, you know, just start throwing some stuff up, see how you feel about it. Um, I see. Flowers. Or do we get the rose bush from further away? Are they up this way? Yeah, that's gonna suck if we can't find one. They're over here somewhere. <laughs> Dies looking for a rose bush. Worth it so we can have <laughs> everything can be even. And I could have swore we got it from over here somewhere. I think. Yeah, sheep just came at us. I know we grabbed them from somewhere over here, I think. I see a bee over there. Alright, just looking. Keep your eyes peeled, chat. Let's try to get a little bit closer to the coast. Oh, it's copper sitting out there. Ah, here we go. Okay, we're gonna take the rest of these back with us. All right, these are plentiful. And of course they have functional use other than just, well, decorations are functional too, but there is um, other functional use for it. You know, you can use them, I think with dyes. I see the turtles over here, so. That's good. All right, so I think we got all the rose bushes for now. I knew it was somewhere along over here. All right, let's head back. Get our sword out. What do we have here? 
I want to see some coal. If it's hard to get down there, maybe we'll grab that really quick if it's... Um, we'll come back. I mean, we could get, it'll be okay. We can get down there, but just, um, I don't want to waste any dirt or anything right now. So there are some caves over here to explore. We do have the one oop, underground that we have yet to explore as well. Ooh. Grab some of these. Is it really raining again? It looks like a super rainy season over here. Take these back. As long as you don't hear thunder. And that reminds me, we're gonna have to check on our um our farm. In both of our farms. And for all those who are just coming in, welcome. So happy to have you here. Happy Wednesday. Hope you're having a great week so far. Getting closer for those who celebrate Christmas. We're very, very, very close. Oh, but look at our pumpkins. They've already sprouted. You know, we put these in yesterday as well, so we got a couple. All right, so we'll come back for that. All right, so where are you going back here? There we go. Fantastic. All right, well, that looks like a beautiful little garden. All right, so I'm thinking with some of the other ones. All right, just we'll keep an eye out for any pillagers or anything. All right, maybe we'll save them for now. All right, so let's make some break some of these down now and let's see I want to see how these look so different kind of wood something a little bit different Trying to, I'm trying to think of the rest of the design. Maybe, should we get the rest of the floor in? So we can see what the rest looks like here. So this will be like the... Uh, and I'm thinking about, which we could probably do over here for like an upstairs. So I was going to say, like maybe we'll put like a... ahead of ourselves or I'm getting a little ahead of myself maybe so I was thinking like maybe we could do like a little so we could do an upstairs as well um, this gives us plenty of space and options. Alright, so. But also anything that we place down is gonna have trouble on one slab, so maybe we'll keep maybe we'll do two slabs. Um what am I trying to do? I'm trying to make more. Labs. All right, so that is more than enough for right now. So again, we're we're kind of making do with what we have. 
resource wise. So for right now, let's just see. Let's put the floor down. So let's see. And like I said, this is just, this is part of it. Um, you know, just kind of um, seeing, you know, I mean, see, like just kind of building it out and seeing how it looks. You know, and it might be a good idea to kind of, you know, eventually like we'll probably change again. Um, you know, I don't know if I want the rest of the house to be so boxy like this. But we're at least going to have the floor down. here all right well we'll have stairs um all right so we'll see maybe we'll try to fix that Actually, that probably is a better way, isn't it? I should be putting them... We're also probably going to need more stairs, aren't we, if we do that? go um let's go sleep it has rained like like very very frequently here it's very bizarre and sorry if it's a little dark i'm looking at my other monitor and it's a little dark So let's see. Let's try to fix the basement stairs a little bit. I think I'm, I'm trying to take a little bit of a break because I'm not not entirely sure yet. So let's try to place something. See how it does this weird. Now, of course, we could put like another slab under something that we want to. All right, so that is fine. Let's take the rest. Let's take the rest of these stairs up. Oh. All Actually, this should be fine. We'll just jump up. Um, where's dirt? That's why it's handy to have dirt around. Alright, so I'm thinking more of a gradual. So that will go there. But this one needs to go like that. Alright, how do we... I'm so bad at doing this. Okay, let's... Oh, that's why. There.
All right, so it's gonna take a little bit more to get. Right, there we go and the sun is out so we should probably go down a little bit more down to our cellar so that might be a little bit of a tight fit oh it's already dug that out Now we're cooking, I think. Alright, I think we need a few more steps, though. There's a lot of dirt under here, surprisingly. Is there lava? Because I just saw... Let's be careful. And there's the edge of the house. Okay. So let's, um, It's not going to fit just there, is it? Alright, so I'll have to go outside and fix that. I'm thinking about that. Okay. Alright, this could potentially... And actually, well, we do have a, let's put some. For right now, let's put. We're gonna wanna be careful not to spawn anything down here, so we might have to get some more torches. Um, is this far enough down? Actually, this should probably be down here. I think that should be far enough. Well, actually, I just... All right, so we'll go down one more and just make it even. Here. All right, and actually, we should probably get some more torches before this starts spawning stuff down here um oh no all right yeah let's go let's go make some torches all right where do i leave the coal i have it in there all right so we'll leave the sand in there for now i still have a bunch of sticks so let's make let's make a bunch of torches Alright, we're probably going to have to go, we're going to have to get some more coal. 
soon, so there is some coal on the surface that we saw some we'll have to um maybe stop there and get some coal. Okay. So let's see, I'm just taking a look here. Just adjusting, okay. Um, what do we need? We need more slabs. I'm running out of space too. It goes fast. Um, this is why too, so like I'm also planning for like a basement like storage. So let's do this for right now. Uh oh. I said they would show up eventually. Usually when you see the trader. And actually I'm thinking about for right now. They're currently stun locked. That's good. Before they come storming in here. So we'll probably fix this after, but let's just um I wonder if I should start moving some stuff like the bed in that inside. Let's do that. We'll leave the chest out here for now. And I think we're done with flowers for now too. How much more room do we have? All right, let's get inside, uh, just for protection. Because I guess let's let's take a look at um, I just want to see this really quick too. This could be kind of unique, so let's see. Did they despawn or did they move on? Nope, they're stuck there. I mean, we're within spawn rate, we're within radius, so, but. Alright, so we are safe inside. Hi Epic Minecraft player, thanks so much for stopping in. Hope you're doing well. We are building a starter house um, right now. So we monitoring a um, some pillagers that appear to be stun locked, I think. So we kind of just brought stuff inside. Let's try to get some sleep. And right now, I am digging downstairs and taking a break because I'm not sure. I'm trying to be creative, <laughs> um, which is always a ch which is always a an adventure. Um, so I might change some of this um, here. So I'm kind of digging because I want to set up like a. And we got to get some more torches down here. Um, a storage system like in the basement here. So we've been kind of clearing this out. I think this is going to be far enough down here, so we will um, we'll fix this and make this pretty later. So I'm thinking, let's open up, let's open this up. So I'm thinking right with this bottom step. So make it bigger. Yeah, so I think we'll start here. Kind of dig this out. Because this one can be a little bit more of a square, which is a little bit easier to do. I'm going to have to build a chest, I think, soon. Uh, let's leave that. Alright, so we'll open it up here. And oh, right there. 
So bring the ceiling up a little bit. And let's, um... Alright, let's see how big this looks. So I'm kind of picturing putting... I know, more gray, but like putting some more stone. When we get some more resources, I think it'll be a good idea to, um... We'll, we'll change some things. Um... With the, um, color and whatnot. Get some that's not so, like, gray and... Just blah. Alright, so we could do... How do I want to do this? Um... I don't want to be too limited, I'd rather have more functionality, so maybe we'll do two across. So one, two... One, two... How much room is that? Okay, so we got to go a little bit more. So if we're going to do like two chest... Here, so we should have at least a couple blocks in between. All right, so let's dig out a little bit more. Hopefully those pillagers don't um, come knocking down the door and coming after us. So put down another torch. All right, how's this gonna look? One, two. Maybe one more. Yeah, it's not like we need a ton of space in between. And we can always keep expanding out if we um if we need to do another row. Right, let's get another torch up. Like I said, we'll come back and make everything pretty later. And I'll keep an eye up there for the sun. Alright, this should be enough now. Yeah, again, we don't need a massive amount, so... Okay. So let's just dig this out. Sorry for the occasional tearing. I'm seeing it when I'm, like, knocking the blocks. Oh, and I think with that, we're out of space. Let's build a, um... I guess let's build a chest upstairs to get rid of. How are we looking? Are they still hanging out? Well, they either moved or they despawned. I don't even see the trader anymore. Yeah, see, we're not going to keep the walls like this. It was just to keep them from coming barging in. Alright, I'm digging this. I do like this so far. Oh, yeah. What's he doing? Alright, so if, where's our crafting table? Alright, we'll also fix this later. Um, oh, can't spell apparently. Okay. Ah, oh boy, where do we have room? We'll fix that in just a second. Uh, we'll just put it here for now. Go. All right, so what don't we need? The apples in here. Put the grain in there for now. Oh, we have a. Oh yeah, that's right. Let's um. Let's put that there for now. 
Again, we'll fix all this. We have enough raw beef. We're doing okay right now with hunger. We'll leave that there. We're not going to use birch just yet. Shovel, gravel. There, okay. Yeah, I don't see him. Okay. Let's also, just because again we've been burning through iron, let's um, let's make so let's just make some more stone pickaxes. Again, they don't have the best durability, but we're gonna have enough cobblestone, so we'll burn through them for now. We're gonna be getting some gravel. Um, let's dig out a little bit more. And again, I keep I keep meaning to do it, and I should I should have it like in a standard note. Um, but we are using some mods. Um, if you haven't seen the first two streams that we've done, um, we've been using Clarity Pack and a Water Pack, or a Sky Pack. I'm sorry, um, and we're using Optifine 1.18. So again, if there's an occasional tear, it could just be related to the packs. And that, which I'm pretty sure I have the most recent update. But again, there could still be some kinks and whatnot. And we'll see, um... So, and again, if you're if you're kind of having like a little bit of a, like, creator's block a little bit, or you're not sure what you want to do, so now that I kind of have like a, a little bit of a direction, um, you know, up there, I'll probably take some time and think about it, you know, like tonight, tomorrow, and that, and see what we want to do. Um, with the rest of the house, but right now we can kind of do this. I do want to get a storage system going because again, we're going to start Really collecting things Okay um, So we'll put a torch right here And then we'll start we'll just do For now a torch every other I Keep seeing that shadow pop up So again, we'll keep things lit. Okay, something's not even. All right, let's get up. Let's go. Let's get ready for. I do like this, like this little platform for the bed, though. I do like that. So let's get ready for bed. Just a second, keep anything from spawning. There we go. Look at that beautiful sky. Okay, just um, some plans for uh, finalizing what's going on for uh, Christmas. Oh, wow. Actually, that's kind of good to know. In case anything is 
So we're not invincible right now. <laughs> I guess something can come hopping in here. I, I kind of don't want to... Oh, that looks so cool. You're gonna be like, behind? I don't know if I want to mess with, like, the forest that's behind. Because it's just, it's like so dense and, like, I just, I don't know. I like it. Because, again, we can put something else over here. And there's other areas that we can expand to. I mean, we could fit something else in over here. We don't need, like, a massive area of land. And even for farming purposes, like, there's not that much up here, so we could kind of convert that. Even open up this, this little interesting cave. Or well, Actually, no, we could keep it and maybe do something with it. Alright, so hopefully nothing will spawn. Again, the, the mod, or the packs, the resource packs do, um... Um, the resource packs do kind of change the lighting a little bit, so... It's a little deceiving, so it might not be as dark in the middle. What we could do down here, which would be cool, is um, we could do like some polished, like some, you know, some polished stone on the walls. I'd like to do some bricks, but I don't know if we're going to be able to get enough clay right now. And again, we also don't have to make this like massive um, right now. We can just kind of add to it as we see fit. And this saves some room above ground because we can really just like expand this out down here. You know, unless we come upon a cave underneath. But I don't think we're there. I don't think we're far enough down. Um, well, with our mine anyways. Um, I don't think we're not hitting our mine, so that's good. I don't hear any mob noises in the walls. All right, there we go. And eventually, when we get access to different types of um, light, it'll you know it'll make things a lot more purdy down here too, so we don't just have to rely on like torches. Just like that. Uh, where's our crafting table? And again, so... And this just came to mind, too, just because, again, so, like, you could see that there's a little gap under here um, when we place stuff. So, where you place it on the wall actually does make a difference. So, we could make this higher if we wanted to. And maybe I should be doing that instead of, like, all the way down... Here, we could consider doing that instead, maybe. We actually could use another one right here to make it even. Hmm. This would be a quick fix if we wanted to make it even, but I have it on the top of the block. Maybe we should be doing that instead. Let me see. You'll see how much of a difference it, it'll make. We're actually going to lose this in a second. We'll have to. 
I was just thinking about that. That's gonna be a pain in the butt to put like separate little Although, kind of like in the idea of, um, like that this is up and then it comes down like this. I don't like that idea, because we could always, it's not that big of a deal. Where am I going? We have a crafting table right here. Alright, so let's do a little bit more. Alright, I don't know if I'll be able to finish with 24. We'll see. Maybe. Yes, okay. Alright, so what I'm thinking is like... And now let's see, how much wood do we have left? See how fast we're burning through this? So, I'm actually, I didn't think we we're going to be able to do any... This is what I'm looking at doing. So kind of like this, and I guess, or should I have... You could just access it from the side too. All right, how do, um, should I have something separating? Or should I just have this? Nope. Just like that. There goes that. I'm being indecisive right now. Oh, nope, nope, nope. Need an axe. Alright, so let's make one for right now. Alright. And let's see, where's our slabs? Get this out of the way. So I have another idea. Here's the slabs. Can I put them there? Okay, that's not gonna. That's not gonna. Let's see now if I can get it to. Oh, now here we go. This could be something. So it kind of like separates it a little bit. Hmm, kind of liking that. Oh, where did I just go over there? There we go. Let's make some more. Let's make some more slabs. All right, and just like that. Oh. Sorry, I'm just shifting here. Okay. Good. Okay, so let's do... What are we doing on time? Actually, let's get upstairs. We'll sleep. Because even then, I, I just don't want anything spawning in the immediate area. Go. That looks really pretty. I 
Okay. So I'm kind of liking that idea down there. And this is and this is what I do. So again, it's you know, it's a little time consuming, but I'm hoping that, you know, by doing this to that like you know, maybe you guys are seeing something that you're like, "Oh, I didn't think of doing it that way," or maybe um you know, you think like you're an idiot, you know, you could probably do this a different way. But it's about experimenting and seeing like You know, what what ends up being, like, something that's, you know, good? Alright, the other thing that we could use are some more. And we... We are burning through these. Alright, so how many should we do? This crafting table will probably... In fact, let's just move this crafting table right now. So if anything, we'll put it right there. I think this is pretty good. And again, nothing, luckily nothing should, um, should spawn anyways, just because, um, again, like, mobs will not spawn on, you know, like the, um, the slabs like this, so, I am liking this, um, like this, I guess let's get, Okay, we're going to need a lot more. So let's kind of do this. If anything, we're going to have to start, you know, taking down a forest. And we'll have to start planting some of these saplings we've been collecting. Alright, so let's go with 10 for right now. We'll see if we can fill out this. No. You can see that we started with two stacks of logs. We're down, or th two and a half. We're down to 23. Goes that quick. How many more do we need? Okay, that should be good enough. Nope. Gotta get in front. go okay actually it's probably a little bit more space than we would have needed in the middle there but you know what like that's fine there and the good news is this so we have some flexibility so down the road when we really start filling um this room up you know we can build back this way we can build over this way you know we have some options and I, I don't know what's on the other side I don't hear anything so likely there's not a cave so that's good there um, and yeah so I guess the first thing that we can do right now and again I wasn't planning on doing a storage thing but I kind of I kind of hit a little bit of a block with the um, Uh, building, so we'll... So make that one. I don't know if we have enough of everything yet to really... The other thing we probably can do... And that's actually ready for harvesting down there. Let's try to grab as much of stuff as we can. We grab anything. We did. Okay. Um, okay. So we got a couple minutes. So 
let's stick. Let's see, do we have enough ores? Or do we have, let's see what other ores we have. Okay, we got more cobblestone. Eventually we'll set up some picture frames and whatnot. Alright, so maybe we'll put some die right there. Some deep slate there. And we'll just kind of expand as we start to gather different types of resources. And then I guess, um... Do we put anything... Should probably leave these for other ores. But so it's back here. Let's just put saplings for now. And various, you know, vegetation. Lily of the Valley. Alright, we do have some clay. I will stick this in here. We'll end up moving stuff around. I'm sure we have more rose bushes. Actually, we're going to end up collecting a lot of sand over time, so we'll put that there. Alright, let's go grab... Get nothing snuck in. No. Oh, dolphin. Alright, so that's the only thing left. The force I have it you should probably have is to always shut the door behind, because you never know. <laughs> Anything's going to come wandering in. Alright. More saplings. Oh, will put that upstairs. We could put that upstairs. See more cobblestone. And so again, cobblestone's always going to be one that we really have a lot of. And we can always move stuff around um, as needed. Oh, more. Yeah, see how much we already have. Okay. And let's see. So this one... Alright, let's go grab really quick. Let's go grab... last little one and this is also a milestone because now we are officially kind of all moved inside at least inside somewhat of a shell of something but I'm happy we got this done at least or at least started I should say like it's pretty good um I guess we'll stick gravel back here for now and this is our various vegetation ones Alright, and we have some other miscellaneous stuff that we'll just stick in the chest up here for now. Again, we can always make bigger, and we probably will at some point, but... For right now, I'm just going to stick the other... And actually, we have another... We got a chest from that one, so we'll put the chest in the chest. Here. We'll put the copper here. So really, like, we, we really do have, um... And we'll stick the redstone. So there are other stuff that we can make um, some chests for. Let's also put some of this stuff. And there's a granite one, so we'll have to make a chest for that too. Okay, how are we looking? Alright, let's chill for a minute. Um, I think the last thing we're going to do on the stream here is we're going to... Um, let's just do some farming really quick. So overall, I'm happy right now so we made a lot of progress so the next time we come on we'll do some more work on the house you know i'm thinking we'll have three floors or two floors or i guess well three with the basement And eventually we'll change with the light sources in that too. Um, and then and part of part of it is just um, so 
let's just wait here. Should be good enough. Man, that's beautiful. Definitely recommend. All right, so let's do let's do some farming really quick on here, and then we'll probably call it a stream there. The next time too, I think we're gonna try to maybe create a boat and let's go. Um, let's do some pumpkins over there. No, I didn't see those before. Uh, maybe we'll go exploring a little bit too. So, all right. First off, oh, that's a steep drop. And we'll fix this up in time too, and see what we're gonna do with this. Excellent. So we have another little harbor right over here too. Alright, do we lose any more in the water? I don't think so. All right, so we have a lot more. Um, did I leave all the seeds out that we, I did, okay, good. So right now we're just gonna populate the coast with it. Cause I'd rather just have it keep growing for right now. And something too, and like I, I should probably do that even while we're, you know, building and doing other stuff is, um, Probably should, like, you know, make sure that staying on top of this, too. Because, again, like, we want these, we want, you know, sugar cane to keep growing. You know, as always, this will come become more of a valuable resource. Is there a screen tearing up there? What is that? Oh, it's a bush. It's this oh, it's a weird angle. There we go. So, all right. Well, we got it all the way down over here now. We're really taking control of the land. Oh, I don't know if we forgot this one or if that one just shot up. All right, that's okay. We'll place that right over here. There we go. All right, so that's taken care of. So for now, we're just gonna keep replanting. There, we'll get rid of this patch. I hope we've brought our hoe, otherwise we're going to be running back up to the house. There's some of this land's probably going to... That, like, just straight down. <laughs> Man, it gets deep, like, really shallow. Alright, so let's start, I guess, with replanting over here as we go. See, a chicken just came down. I think those pillagers, I think they either despawned or they they moved on, so. Did this tree hang out? This tree hung out from like the one that we took down, I think. Alright, so we have a lot of seeds. I hope we brought the hoe. We actually could use some more dirt too, because I think I'm going to fill this in right here. Look how much we got. And we got an amazing amount of seeds, too. There we go. So we'll keep the rest of the harbor kind of... We'll actually take this out and 
Do that. There we go. Alright. So let's see. Moment of truth. We did bring it. And although it's likely to break. So I guess we'll find out. And we'll save a few for our chickens. I forget how many we have. But we'll take a few over there. And so, and so far, like, I'm not sure what I'm going to do. So I kind of want to make this into a harbor so that we're not... You know, eventually, that's what I'm thinking with this area. And the fish keep, like, bunching up out there. Alright, so let's get rid of the rest of this. I'll have to make it know that there's more sand. Even though, I mean, to be honest, there are beaches, like, everywhere, so... It's not like we really have to worry too much. We'll probably have to go, we'll go get that wooden hoe. Alright, so... Oh. Oops. I always gotta remember... Let's take down some more in here. So this will be the extent, I think, on this side, just because this is going up. All right, so while we're over here... Nice, I didn't take it out. So there's more... Um, Play. Oh, nope. Oh, I took this one up. Oops. Alright, so we'll come back and fix it. Honestly, we could just spend a full, like a full game day just doing, just doing farming at this point. So that one never sprouted anything, surprisingly. It's got room around it. Maybe is it this? I guess we'll just do that. Okay. So let's go back up and get the other, we should have another hoe. Actually, the sun's going to set soon, too. Okay, that's not great. <laughs> they could do that. Alrighty. Um, I'll put this up here. Given that this where the sun is, let's just chill again. And then we'll go back down. We'll keep planting. From there. Which is good. We probably could run really quick while we're run, run, run. Everyone get a partner. All right, I think that's it for the sheep. Any 
others? Alright, I think that might be the extent of that. Right now we're going to conserve the torches, even though this area we should light it up. Alright, that's it over here. Alright, so we got them. And I see what we did here. So maybe we'll see what we're going to do about that. Maybe we'll do another planter on the back. Pretty full. Very pretty full. Alright. So now that we took care took care of the animals, let's um let's keep planting down here. See how many more seeds we can get out of this. Or how many more, you know. Did it up there? Didn't mean to. Oop. Yeah, the further away from water it goes, it you know it's more prone to um come up faster. And I gave this speech last time, but always, um, something I always do is I'm always trying to, and you can see a pumpkin's already came up. Um, I try to be conscious with the land around us. So, you know, for example, like, I, I think it's okay to flatten this out because, um, you know, we might want to do a project like around the little bay over here at some point. So I think that's fine. Um, but you always want to be conscientious of like making, you know, drastic, um, changes to the landscape. Just because, um, you know, again, it, you know, outside like where your base is, you may not want like a giant um, pit, you know, if you're just doing, if you're mining, you know, you may not want a giant pit, um, you know, and that's going to take forever to fill in. So it's just something to keep in mind when, um, you know, when building or when, you know, deciding to terraform and change the landscape. All right, so this is not going to make it through the rest of what we needed to do. Nope. All right, let's go make another wooden one. Or, I mean, another... Um, I don't have any stone, so I'll actually have to grab some cobblestone. All right, so let's see. Nothing nasty spawned down here. Nope. All right, so grab some cobblestone. And we got some sticks. All right. I would call this a success. Oh, what am I doing? No. Lost my train of thought. So used to doing pickaxes. And actually, maybe we'll make a second. We'll carry some cobblestone on us. Oh, but I can see the pumpkin sprouted on that one way out there. Alright, so let's... Where's our pumpkin seed? Alright, I'll put that right there. There we go. So that'll keep growing. Now let's see, let's fill up the land a little bit more over here. We're going to be running out of space soon. Nope, knocked one down by mistake. All right, and we'll give it some space. We'll give it some time to grow. And again, it's, it's debatable how big that we actually are going to need. I like to make them pretty big, and like I said, we'll probably end up in the other, um, you know, in the more like the the grasslands esque biome. I'm thinking that's where we will. Um, I, I think that's where we'll end up um, 
doing some more, like, you know, planting and maybe do, like, a bigger farm over there. This is just a placeholder for now. It's close, and I definitely want to make, like, a, a huge, huge, huge wheat field. And I think over there would be a good spot because, again, like, it's grasslands, and, you know, we'll see how much building we're going to do over there. We'll do some over here, obviously, but... We try to do one more row, and then what's left we'll go give to the chickens. Great. Two, three. Alright, it's usually it's easier to keep them next to each other, but we're we're just trying to get rid of for get them planted here going fast all right excellent so I can see one already kind of grew but we'll leave it for now um, all right not bad so we got a huge 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 yield so I mean we basically just doubled essentially doubled the size of our um, our, our you know little uh, farm here while we're over here, let's go get the pumpkins. I'm telling you, because this, it can take a whole Minecraft day to do that. And once stuff starts coming, it's going to be coming fast, so. So we'll take these down. And that's what I'm saying with our storage area, too, that we could probably really use a lot more um space <laughs> so we'll we'll look to expand in time i just want to get the basics down of it so and next time we'll go check on the sugar cane now the grass grew in there we got some time on that nothing has spawned in that cave though that's good so eventually we could probably build a barn over here, so we'll give the last two to the chickens. There we go. so they can do their thing. Gets difficult the more it's in there. Oh, more flowers over here. Alright, I think that's... I think the sun's actually setting. Too. Are there any flowers over here? There are a bunch more over there. We'll leave them for now. But I'm just doing that because again, we'll want to do some, some landscaping. All right, all right. So it doesn't look like much yet. And I see in the back there we'll have to um, maybe we'll add another row of dirt in or something like that. But I'm liking this so far. So. I'm happy with this. We have to be careful over here. We're gonna have to explore this at some point. If we will. There is so much to do. So, but um, got 24 pumpkins. And and the reason for doing this too is again, like we really want to stabilize our food um, production. And like I said, like you can see, we're not we're starting to get a lot of sheep, which is good. And a lot of cows, so we'll try to stay on top of this um, at the start of the next stream, too. Maybe we'll do a little bit more. We'll do some more exploring, too. Maybe we'll head out this way 
um, there. You know, it's a little deceiving in the title. We didn't really... Well, we did a little bit of mining, I guess. <laughs> Technically clearing some area out there, so... But, yeah, I think next stream what we'll do is we'll do, um... You know, maybe we'll make a boat and go see what's out there, see how big that is, and just kind of take a look around the bay there. We got some more building to do, too, so we'll definitely look to do that. I think I see a bamboo forest over there, too, is there some jungle. And we got a lot more to do here. We got to actually finish up our house. So all in all, looking pretty good. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. You know, I know it's like a little bit more of like a grindy um, stream. And that today, doing a lot of building um, and gathering resources and clearing out. But that's why, you know, and this is why we've been like clearing out the area here. Um... So, I'm actually, I'm really liking this behind. Like, maybe we'll just leave it, like, the woods kind of thing. We'll see. It's uniform. Alright. So, we'll, we'll go to sleep here, and then I think we're going to wrap it up for today, guys. You know, I, I'd like to thank you so much for all those who tuned in today. Really appreciate your support, as always. On the way out today, if you're not following, please consider following. Um, that way you're always notified when the stream goes live, when new content comes out. And um, it really does help out the channel, and I always appreciate all the support. Um, I'm also over on YouTube and Twitter. So if you're not, um, you know, following over there on Twitter, I will post updates about the channel and other Minecraft news that I come about. And YouTube, I'll have all the video on demands of the streams and any other content that I end up uh, putting out, you know, Minecraft related will be up on there as well. So I'd like to thank you guys so much for tuning in today. Again, my name is Nerd Builder. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed it and we'll see you next time. Take care. Bye for now.